all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to Apostle Elders in New York, GMS, and um, citations to you all, Aki on this teaching the truth. And I shout out to you, Sirius Aqua. My name is Maya Kaala Bungad with Chicago Branch of Great Millstone. Like, make a disclaimer that we are not black. Hebrew Israelites, we are Israelites. The Israelites are the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and speck of birds that scattered abroad. Speck of birds are Israelites who look like other nations, but their fathers, paternal bloodline, go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. We are not fitting with any terrorist groups. We are not fitting with any violent groups. We are not fitting with any other Israelite groups. So, right here, man, I'm just going into uh, the Nordic Kingdom, my indigenous people of the America. You know, and um, you can see right here, this proves that the uh, so called um, Native American or the Israelites, all right. I'm gonna come back to this picture. I'm gonna go with the name Mayan, Mayan. All right, we all know Mayan and Lashma Kadash. All right, it means uh, means uh, from. Then you got Mayan, which means uh, water. You got Maya, which means um, uh, springs, man. All right, so you know, cause you got individuals like Quanafan Fopi. Like they say, well, they'll get the Hebrew name. Why do people in Mexico don't get no Hebrew name? Well, here goes some people from over in that area from Mexico until Central America that had that name. All right, so let's go with the word my young from. I'm going to come back to that painting too. All right, that's another prophecy. All right, so um, let's watch this. All right, let's see, Mayan, Mayan, Mayan. All right, let's go to. Uh, All right, the Maya, Maya. All right, the first edition people live in parts of present day Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras. All right, which is a trap of Zebulon. All right. All right, so you get the Maya, Maya. All right, so you just Hebrew or Maya. All right, here. Hebrew or Maya. Alright, baby Jewish baby name Maya Maya short for Mayan <laughs> meaning springs or brook. Maya is a female name of most of me in Hebrew tradition. Maya is short for Maya means spring or brook. Alright. Then you bought water, man. Alright, what it says in uh matter of fact. Go to Genesis uh I'm going to have to make this to like part two. I'll right? come back later. I got some stuff. All right. I want to. Uh, oh, so I can get this. I ain't have to do all that. So let's go to Genesis 49. All right. So it says Genesis 49 and 1. All right. Since so Jacob called the sons and said, Guide yourself together. That might tell you that was show before in your last days. All right. So we in the last days, man. All right. Well, they started start at you when um um we how shall got crucified, all right? And I mean you read that in Matthew uh let me see. The countdown, um well they just start me how I got crucified, all right. Somewhere in the book of Matthew Salak. All right, but um go down here. It says uh Genesis forty nine and thirteen, Zebulon shall dwell at Haven of the Sea. And he should be for a haven of ships, and the border should be onto Zidon, all right? So you go right here, you go to Mount um, Central America, all right? What a Panama Canal is that? Let me go that. Yeah, matter of fact, Panama Canal, all right? That's a haven, that's fulfilling the prophecy, man. That's a haven of ship right here, all right? There you go, man. All right, they come from Pacific. They come from Atlantic Ocean, man. All right. 
right? There's no getting around it, man. Only an idiot uh, will think otherwise, man. All right? And go to Panama map. All right, you can see it. All right, so they battle waters, all right? So Zebulon starts south. He's in Mexico, which Esau put his perverted stuff on there, man. But anyway, <laughs> all right, so right here, you got, um, right here is uh, Central America. You got the canal and everything. All right, <clears throat> so uh, let's see. All right, so there you go. So you see, it's surrounded by waters of fulfilling a prophecy. All right. Then you go to the ancient map of Zebulon. Uh, ancient. Zebulon. Let me see what pops up. Zebulon is that? Tries to Israel. Hold on. And you can see, uh, All right, and you can see uh and you can see right here what's Zebulon. All right, so Zebulon is landlocked. All right, so it's definitely talking about during ancient Israel time. All right, Zebulon is landlocked. They not buy any waters. All right. They locked in with uh Issachar. All right, they're not any, anywhere by a body or big body of waters. All right, Ash and Atali, Issachar, Manessa. All right, they surround it, man. All right, so it could have been talking about back in ancient Israel time. All right, so that's a cut for you scoffers. All right, now you go back to, uh, let me go back to, uh, let me see, Maya. Uh, let's see, uh, Maya. See if it pops up. I'm trying to get it to uh All right, and you can see uh, how the Esau, because you'll see many pictures like this. All right, you see, I'm trying to find what they uh, painted over, All right? But this is the original pictures. You'll see this right here. All right. All right. Let me see, uh, come on, brothers, hey, uh, let me see, let me see this stuff. All right, so it's the original pictures right here. All right. All right, this is how they originally look at Bonham Peck. Um, down there, Bonham Peck, back there. Um, I should go sight in Mexico. All right, now Esau, what he'll do, he'll paint a new picture over it. 
All right, I wish I could find. I just had it too, man. Where he saw saw her mess with those pictures, man. All right. Oh, here you go, right here, right there on my face. All right, let me see. Uh, I think this is it. Yup, cause two different colors. See that? He saw her messing with it, man. All right. You can see it's the same. It's the same mural. All right, he saw. Um, changed it, all right, to make them lighter skin, man. This is uh, Job chapter nine, verse twenty-four. All right, all right. Okay, it's much darker than that. And that's what Esau do. They'll be dark, then he'll lighten it up, then it, then they'll go completely uh, uh, pale. All right, that's Esau. Mo, man. Let me get this uh, Job. Let's prove that the uh, so-called Native Americans are the Israelites. All right. Uh, hold on. It says right here, Job chapter 9, verse 24. It said, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judge. If not, where and who is he? Right, man. Where and who is he? All right. You can see it. Same picture, man. All right. Right here. The warriors, hold on. I'm gonna click that off. Where is that? Uh, hold on. All right, but you all, you all seen this, all right? Let's see, Maya Agent, all right? Let's see if I can get it again, it's a lot. All right, <clears throat> I'll try to hurry up. All right, quickly, uh. Guess today demons don't want me to get the truth out, man. All right, but you all seen the difference. They was day and night between uh, the pictures I showed you uh, earlier. All right, is he right here? He saw mess what he painted over it. All right, let me see if it's uh, it take me. Yeah, you can see it. Jake. All right. So it goes right here. They go the original picture right here. It's super nice and dark, chocolate. All right, you see he got his beard and everything. Grab by the hair. Then what? You go. Um, where is it? And you. Oh come on, man. <laughs> All right, then you, uh, is that the same picture yet? Let me see. Yeah, no. I had it for a minute. Darn, man. Where is that, Okay, yeah, so right here at the top is the original picture. All right, then you go to the bottom right here. You can see they totally, they lighten it up. You can see it, day and night, they lighten it up. They come in the face of the judge. Who are the judges that is like? All right. Because these are uh, carpet people, man. Who are the Israelites, man? All right, this happened to them. All right. So then you go to uh I'm gonna come back to uh the phenotypes um later on. Alright, and uh let me see. 
So I'm going to this book, uh, Riddles in History by uh, it's a lot. So Riddles in History by Cyrus H. Gordon. It says right here, page 146. It says the Bible tells of a distant gold bearing land called Afar. King Solomon sailed there from the Red Sea port of Asin Kerbar and the Allah of Israel bring about the rich cargoes of the gold. This question is where Ophir is located. Dr. Robert uh, Stiglitz, the curator of the National Maritime Museum, half of Israel, calls attention to a world map of biblical lands. All right. Now you read First Kings chapter 10, verse 22. You can see it in there, man. All right. Solomon is. It's, um, had uh, uh, allegiance with uh, King Haram for Tyree, the Canaanite. All right, and his men had knowledge of the seas. And Israel was, um, yeah, there's lights along with him. All right, it said, um, in the 16th century, to wit, Aris Mountain, 1571, uh, distinguished Spanish scholar indicates offer by the number 19, which he put in two places on Indian coast, South America, Rocky Mountain coast, and North America. Does he imply that Solomon fleets reached Earth about crossing the Indian and Pacific Ocean? As far as the Andes are concerned, the Aries Mountains. This is how much uh, my phone be acting up. All right, it says, um, Aries Mountain may have got an idea from the gold Pizarro, may already plundered from the Inca Empire in Peru. But as far as I know, Rocky Mountain gold was not known until much after the days of Aries Mountains, 1527 and 15. 1898. We are familiar with the gold rush of 1848. Since the 1571 map clearly indicates Pacific coast and north as well as South America. Yeah, I remember the Canaanites, man. Esau got the knowledge from there is like the Moors and the Jews, all right? There's one that was um, had interaction with the Canaanites, all right? Grew up, but obviously gave them that knowledge, all right? It says, Stalin notes that tradition perhaps. Uh, cattle graph may have preserved down to 16th century memories on a mountain of gold and rockies during the first early Iron Age, 1200 BC, for summer rain, in the 10th century. All right, well, how they know that, man? All right, because all right, here go the map right here. You see right here, 19 Ophir, right here, 19 right there. All right, because that's where they was going, that's what King Solomon was going in ancient times, man. All right, you can see right here, 19. Uh, right, right, you'll see, right, right, 19, all right. All right. That's what there is, that's the way it's going. All right, go map right there. All right. Then he says, he says, since nearly archaeologists date serial hit the art roughly the same time as American date, the Dazanti Monte album is natural regarding Regard resumes perhaps reflecting historical contact. Not only do bearded figures in Monte Alba uh, suggest all were race, but cars, slabs, and both areas in order to provide interior decoration. All right. Well, you go to right here, page, um, and you can see it. All right. The head, it says right here, the, uh, this is page 150, Reels in History, same book. Defies Zopotec rulers down in Mexico. It said a stucco head about AD 700 above the tomb of Zopo ruler at uh, Salaf. I pronounce this wrong. Lambenico. Uh, uh, Waka, Mexico. All right. The Zopac glyph of number one above the head attributes to the ruler of the one associated with the van creator in Mesoamerica Mes as well as the ancient Near East. All right. You can see it right here. There go the symbol right there. Why? Because these people came from over the from over the east, man. Like it says in uh, Second Edges chapter thirteen, verse thirty-nine, forty-eight. All right, that they came over here. All right, it took them what a year and a half. A year and a half to come over here, man. All right. Now with Solomon, there was uh, uh, you can read that in I believe First Kings chapter ten. It took took them. Uh, three years, man. All right, because they took them a year to half to get there, then a year to half to get back. Okay. Um, it go another one, the phylactery down there in Mexico. All right, this stone from uh, Tepoztlco, Veracruz, Mexico, is the National Museum of Mexico City. Some scholars date around AD 100, while attributed to early classical period, AD 300, any case by contemporary age of 
mask from Roman Spanish, the main bearded figure, right? So there you go. This uh, so-called masking native beard is a car. Hold his right arm, his right arm half raised, a strip of leather, his wound, spra wound sprouting around the forearm, palm fast around the thumb, the other figure, the head of the tenant, highest level one on his elbow, the object held by a strip, but possibly a phylactery box on the head. The very phylactery didn't practice by different groups of Jews today. The hand phylactery is not is now worn on a weaker arm on the left or on the right hand on a on a right on the right arm and left hand man this stella shows the right arm the figure winding very um very necessary traditional schools all right you can see right here man all right here you got the full actor you got the thing on his head all right so like a full at three, all right. Wrap the runners on the sit. All right. So uh, let's see. All right. There you go right here. This is the book, uh, uh, Lost Worlds of H America by Frank Joseph. This is page 95. It said in 2000, a New Yorker from Mount Vernon was hiking through his state's northern Catskill Mountains when he spotted a uh, peculiar carving on a heap of stones off a trail near Never Seen River. Four years later, Don Ruh. Led me back to the scene of his discovery where he found a gray stone face down on top of a small rope house. Although most of his surface was uh, severely weathered, I was able to make out the six upward projecting arm the triangle base and the seventh round up projects in the center and serves the presence as the cruel representation of, uh, of uh, Menorah among the most widely Produce article of Jewish ceremony, ceremonial art. The seven branch kind of branch traditional symbol of Judaism used in the temple, right? And several branches, that's what uh, we use for the uh, Passover, right? It says, when the visiting Israel night out witness the excavation uh, excavation of a rare triangle based menorah for archaeological dig, experience triggered my engine, very symbol. The Catskill Mountain uh, engravers triangle base is the most significant aspect for you connect to a menorah to the tree of life, the god of the ashram, her symbol, the triangle, right? The tree of life for a link with the menorah, sacred trees, and god is ashram in the Hebrew Bible, right? But our menorah is not connected to no ashram. Tree of life, ashram, right? Well, I'm about to show you in a little bit. All right, hold on. Does not be alone. But if it is anyway, or they prove that so called Native Americans from the Middle East, the so called Middle East. Alright, so this is, this is the trees of life, right? This is one they found in the, uh, let's say, a menorah ancient column top Jerusalem, alright? You see right there, I don't got the seven points. Right, this right you don't got this. The tree of life, Mesopotamia, stone vase before three hundred three thousand BCE. All right, but you don't you don't have it. All right, but like I said, if it does, it don't matter because they proved that they are from the Middle East. All right. Tree of life. I think Madonna had a song called "Tree of Life" because she into that Kabbalah mess man all right anyway uh hold on let's see how much time i got perfect all right all right it says right here later manuals spread out throughout the jewish communities in the mediterranean lands this is page uh Page uh, 101. All right. Same book. 
It says, laid a menorah spread out through a Jewish community, the Mediterranean land, to synagogue, the additional, appearing on graves, lamps, him, and amulets had all three or four legs as a base. Menorah spread throughout the diaspora, the Jewish communities located in the key harvest along the Mediterranean, the Catalonia, Aragon, the Iberian Peninsula, to distant lands, including North America, ancient cars, menorah have been found on canyon walls. These again, ancient carvings of menorahs have been found on canyon walls in Arizona, in Michigan, in New York State. All right. The silver carry across the land of ocean from ancient harbors such as Cicero, Dora, Jaffa, Cartridge, or Arbarian ports. None of the menorahs have a triangle base except Don Rush's discovery. All right. So right here it says, um, uh, Ancient cars of menorah have been found on canyon walls in Arizona, in Michigan, New York State. All right, so uh, let's see how much time I got. I got 50, 50, I mean, um, barely life. All right, so we go right here. This is he got another book, uh, Unearthed Ancient America. You see right here, this is from Michigan, the menorah petroglyph. He reveals the period store in Michigan. All right, so you can see right here, this is the menorah. All right, there's no getting around it, man. All right, there's no getting around it. All right. Okay. Who the there is lights, man? All right. This is page 36 from the book, um, The American Indian by James Odair. All right. So they got Hebrew. They, sp they spoke broken Hebrew. The uh, Chickas. They said the most southern old town which the Chicka saw first settled first at the uh Chakama, Chata, and they separate on our side mississippi to three different tribes they call yanaka thereby inverting the name of earth as their former brotherhood was turned to uh imitate the the bow the bow creeks on the uh opposite side the north side them they name yanabi all right see the guy yeah killing to god or devoting to death for the mid uh mid express the time their proper names or person and places so like i can't see that god took it kind of took it all right places that always express a certain circumstance or things that can more fits determined meaning it said with the uh i believe what is it the uh most uh moskagi a lot of the by language speech because of several of the Germans among them frequently say Yah Yah as a firm they call them Yah Yah uh, Aga. These are the blasphemous, those are the blasphemous speech, uh, which strongly hints to us that they still retain a glimpse of the third moral commandment delivered at Sinai that shall not take the name of Yahweh thy power in vain or apply the name of Yahweh thy Elohim. As, uh, Thy um, Allah, I am all right to the vain or uh, vain uh, things, all right, all right. So that's what it said. The Indians indicate on their young people that is to say, Yeah, yo, hey, what was your how is the art of vegetation called the uh, uh, vegetable wara moved by your for our sin of how walk or move. Remember they speak in broken Hebrew, all right? Um like manner, all right. Um likewise called the flying birds waka as Yahweh gave them swift motion when the young pigeon uh with welfare they said Pacha he see opata opata opataha all right it's a lot of I pronounced that wrong. Pati said, I pigeon, hitching that leaves for hair or uh, feathers. Opa, opa, a bud, ta, a note, plurality, ha, the marriage to make it plural, uh, uh, super, super, uh, but when the pigeons in the winter fly to Marna climate in greater clouds, they use the word waha, which uh, every application describe vegetation, say, patesh waha. The pigeons are moved to them by Yahweh, yeah, Yahweh, yeah, well, yeah, which seemed to elude the quails in the wilderness where miraculously sent to feed the Israelites. All right. So you see right here, man, they, they speak in um, broken Hebrew. All right. The uh, Chickasaw. 
all right, the Chickasaw, so-called Chickasaw Indian tribe of Gad, all right, because, you know, Kwan said, oh, they don't, they don't, they don't get the Hebrew, they don't got Hebrew names like there is, like South Africa, yes, they do, man, all right, so this is interesting right here, page 59 of the book, 10 tribes of Israel, it said, the Reverend Jenner mentioned in the introduction, we had taken much pain since, uh, uh, you know, let me get right here. Uh, 1764, Father Child Weston found Indians who had never seen a white man, never seen Esau, and for the writer of these memoirs to the far northwest of Ohio. He attended a party for a treaty with the Indians of West Mississippi here, where he found a people who was in search of conversion their beloved, um, beloved man who had never never before seen a white man since the three grace interpreter. Any of for him that one of the most ancient tradition was the, that a great while ago they had a common father they had a common father who lived towards the rising of the sun all right like i said they came from the east man like i said it's like 13 39 48 it governed the whole world that all white people's head was under his feet that they had 12 sons by whom he administered his government that his authority was derived from the great spirit, meaning how by virtue of some special gift from him, the twelve sons behaved very bad and tyrannized so they people, abusing the power to a great degree. That's all in the scriptures, man. All these wicked is like kings, the North King Sucker. So as to offend the great spirit of city, then he been thus angry with them, suffered the white people to introduce uh spurious liquids among them, made them drunk, and stole this special gift of the great spirit from them by means of the power over them. And ever since the Indians' heads were under the white people's feet, but they also had tradition that time was to come, the Indians will regain, regain the gift of the great spirit from the white people with their ancient power, with, with the white people's heads would again be under the Indians' feet. <laughs> All right. So that's in uh, the curse of Deuteronomy 28, 43, 44. All right. When Esau rest the Indians, they become the head, we become the tail. And then we pull them, then we come back on top and put them right back in slavery. Uh, uh, Revelation 13, 9 and 10, Isaiah 14, 1 and 2. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Gad shall overcome. All right. Genesis 49 and 19. All right. So I'm going to end it right here. Most of all, I'm going to come back with part two. All right. So I hope you've been edified and shalom.